how to create canva carousel for instagram hi guys let's get started immediately now the first thing you want to do is to be on your canva application and the next thing would be heading over to the top left hand corner of your screen and clicking on create a design now the next thing would be you going over to custom designs and clicking on it now for the width you would like to ask yourself how many carousels do you want to create now you want to go ahead and multiply that by 180 that will give you the width while the height still remains 180 now go ahead and click on create a new design and now the next thing you have to do when you get to this blank space is to click on file now you want to go ahead and click on settings and then you want to go over to where you see add grids and tap on it now go over to customs and also tap on it now for the columns i'll go ahead and change it to three because that's what i calculated when i was adding the custom size and then you make sure that the gap is on zero and now you want to click on add grids this is what you should have now now you can go ahead and impute any design you would like for your instagram carousel so for me i'm going to start first by giving this background a color now i'll head over to elements and then guys i'm going to click on frames because i would love to actually impute a frame to this but remember you can do anything you want to your carousel it depends on what you want to pass to your audience And guys the next thing you want to do is to head over to uploads and then guys you want to tap on any picture of your choice you would like to add to this frame now i went back to elements and i went to the search bar and searched for curved lines now i went over to the graphic section and i tapped on see all and i searched for what i wanted went ahead and added it on my page now i adjusted size to suit what i was going for and the next thing that i did was to switch the color of this element i just added so it can suit the theme of this carousel now i went back to element it was still on curved line so i searched for something more that my piece was lacking and then i went to text and added a heading now i just wanted to add my brand name to this now i went ahead to change the font type of my business name i didn't like the font it came in so i changed it now over here i still have to add one more heading because my text is not yet complete and i also went ahead to change the font type because i didn't like it also And guys this is me heading over back to element so i can find something interesting there so i cancelled out what was searched before and i typed in news so we can see if there's something related that can make this our piece so beautiful And when I found what I wanted, I imputed it into my page. And guys, I went ahead to adjust the size of this. And then also, I went to the top of my screen and made that transparent. I wanted it to blend into the carousel so much that you would think it's part of the background. Now also, I duplicated this element because I wanted it on all parts of my carousel. And now the next thing I did was to send this particular element to the back because I didn't like the way it was showing on the picture that I uploaded. So I just clicked on the three dots, went to layers and then I sent it to the back. Now apart from this element not showing on your pictures, you can also have more controls of other elements on this page because with this particular element over others you can't even click them and this is the reason why it's important to send elements like this to the back so i'm just simply going to repeat this for all other elements so i can have more control over my page 
now this is me just going back to element and looking for the final touch to this now i just wanted to add a nail polish to this and when i found one i inserted it and then i reduced the size because i really wanted it small and i just added it to the sides of my background now this is what our design is looking like please do not forget that the design on your carousel is totally dependent on you and what you would like to pass to the audience so the next thing you want to do is to click on share is at the top right hand corner of your screen now i went ahead to click on download now once you make sure it's on png you want to click on download again for this particular file to be downloaded now i'll be showing you how to resize this image so you can post them as three different images on instagram now head over to any browser of your choice for today i'm going to be using chrome now go to the search bar and then you want to type in pinetools.com now when you get over here to the website you want to scroll over to where you see images now again you want to go ahead and scroll to where you find split image and then you want to go ahead and tap on split image now you want to tap on choose a file and you want to go ahead to select the carousel that we just downloaded from canva now the next thing would be changing some options now change how to split image to horizontal because this is exactly how the image will be cut into now quantity of blocks for me is three please kindly scroll down and you want to change that format to png before tapping on split image now it's best to download these pieces individually so you want to go ahead and tap on them so that they can be downloaded and this is what they should look like after download and this is exactly how to create canva carousels for instagram now if you found this video helpful you want to click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this youtube channel for more useful tutorials like this now i'll see you in my next video bye